The movie is called And Introducing Brian, and uh, well, here's the concept. We landed the clothing account. Nice, that's Renegade. Nicely done, my friend. Hey, hey, hey. Bye, bye. Yeah. The bad news, as usual, the client is being difficult. They have their minds made up that they want a celebrity spokesperson. The issue is they want Tom Hanks for Polly Shore money. <laughs> Polly Shore. Yeah, does anyone have any ideas? Averman? Mitchell? Anyone? Why do we make up a celebrity? What? OK, maybe not anybody. Well, I'm serious. No, 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 OK. We get some Shimon off of the street, and uh, we make him really famous through publicity, and then he endorses whatever product we want. It's awesome. It's a win win. We are going. So the movie was done on uh, a zero budget, more or less, and so we just we pulled resources big time. We were able to uh, purchase a jib, and uh, we had a dolly, and we have two uh, really great high definition cameras. Uh, one of them is being used right now by Travis Cameron, the same one that you're behind the scenes was shot with, uh, the JVC. Uh, so two of those together look beautiful and uh, really pleased with how it turned out. And also from an acting standpoint, we needed volunteer actors basically. And that was the great thing about shooting this film in Chicago is there's a ton of actors and not nearly enough roles for them. So, put a small ad on Craigslist one time to get a feel very early on, you know, what kind of a response we'd get, and it was overwhelmed. We had seven, over 70, almost 80 people uh, come out to audition, and we are able to put together a really solid crew of professional actors, people that considered themselves professional actors, people who didn't uh, have other jobs other than acting on stage or on screen. And so, I mean, we were just absolutely floored. And, uh, Jeff Lord leads the way in the role as Brian, uh, your title character. And we also had uh, Kathleen Peters and Tiffany Carter who just made everybody look bad because they never mess up. And being such a great improv town that Chicago is, we had uh, John Champion, Jeff McLean, and Sherman Edwards who are all really tremendous improvisers and um, the two out of the three had actually gone through Second City. So much like this movie, uh, Sarah Marshall, we had a nice, uh, a nice accent of improvisation throughout the whole thing. Just hang out. We have a couple more drinks. There's a game to finish. Come on. Come on. That's how it always starts. You have a couple of drinks. You're out all night. You can't focus on your work the next day. Let's go. I better go before Dad gets angry about Mom leaving and burns me with cigarettes. I forgot her, you know. Well, I'd better go. Dad gets mad when he remembers that Mom left. He gave me a coloring book of rape scenes. If I color outside the lines, he acts them out on me. Hey, call social services while you're going. Let's go! Uh. Well, I guess I'd better go. Mom's waiting in the trunk with a gas rag in her mouth. Dad gets upset when I can't spank her the right way. Call social services. When he gets this mad, he starts branding my penis with cartoon characters. When he hits the bottle, he likes to play anal Olympics. And you'd be surprised how many candles you can get up there. Hey, call social services immediately. Let's go! All right, man. All right I'm coming, Daddy! When he starts hitting the bottle, there goes my pubic hair, and he starts wearing it like a pirate. Call social services. Let's go! All yes, right, Papa, I'm coming! <laughs> Give me one before I go. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. It's on Co-Pirate! <laughs> huh. Wow. So being the ultimate gorilla style filmmaker, with almost no budget to speak of and a lot of volunteer help, we certainly needed a lot of help from other contributors and we were absolutely uh, blessed to get a tr tremendous amount of very good, very good locations donated to us, whether it be restaurants or bars. We actually had a uh, 60,000 square foot stadium donated to us for an entire day and uh, a mansion. We also had picture cars donated to us and it just it kept going and in the film your main star ha is uh, endorsing a product we had it be a clothing company and then we had a company renegade clothing actually donate wardrobe to us for the film and in, in an attempt to have independent filmmakers help other independent artists we 
had music donated to us from a lot of independent, unsigned artists, uh, musicians. And definitely the top of that list is a band called the Ghetto Billies. There's actually a, a Grammys for unsigned artists, unsigned bands. And a couple of years ago, they won five out of the seven awards that were given out that year. So we're very excited to have them. They donated their entire library, which is about 120 songs or so. But there's uh, singers and bands uh, coast to coast that donated music to us. So we're excited about the soundtrack, too. Of course, also, we had our, our crew is all volunteer help. And two of those crew members you know here from this movie. Uh, there's Mary Goodflesh, who is a PA with us, and she worked locations for a little bit. She was an assistant director on the film. And Travis Cameron, who was your behind-the-scenes guy, he was my DP. And it was really outstanding having him on set. He, he, he worked so well, and we got such beautiful shots out of it. And I kind of had to play a role as an AD once in a while, making sure that we were moving along, and he would fight me from time to time wanting to do more and more dolly shots and more and more jib shots and uh, I cannot thank him enough for pushing me because as, you're, as you can see right now uh, there is a tremendous amount of camera movement in the film that really brings it to a next level, really increases the production value of the show. Um, we put camera on dolly or on jib quite frequently and in very many scenes and sometimes uh, jib on a dolly to get some really you know, shots that you don't get for a movie that was made for $5,000. feel so free, but then Like we're both on strings Gliding past each other Like we both have wings Turning into lovers That don't own a thing But the earth below And the stars With my ingesting Locked and cocked it steady Well I've got to go from below And I'm ready In the mile high cockpit In the ace in the hole So, tell us about the little lady. Is she an amputee? Is she over 90? I hear that the wrinkles get good things. Her name's Casey. She's a photographer. Uh, a photographer? No, no, no. That makes me a little nervous. Bingo makes you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the girl? Her name's Dawn. Her name is Dawn. Are you soaking in her right now? Does she take Reese out of the way? 